Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheat Tech, and we're shooting on the very phone we're doing the final review on, the Axon M foldable phone. It's got some great upsides, and it's got some downsides. Don't focus on the downsides, and unless you're not thinking of the price. Under 140 bucks in most cases. There'll be a link in the description below for the Amazon purchase point. Uh, and of course, I get a little kickback. It might amount to ooh, two, three dollars. Uh, but we're gonna shoot most of this video on what has become still my favorite phone. Yes, this dirty, filthy thing here is the. Uh, the um, new G3 uh, sure you gotta plug a mic in through a dongle and it does work and I figured out now I don't even need the splitter with a voice pop mic I just use the three ring connector plug it straight in I get good sound out of it uh, it has an excellent camera, and it has something that the Axon doesn't have. Notice the case, and notice the lip on the case. Yeah. You see, this one is really hard, and so is the Alcatel I have, to get accidental screen touches on you'll hear about that in the uh, cons section which will be the first section coming up right after the intro and uh, watch the whole video don't just jump to a conclusion don't get too bored I'll try to keep it short Number one, this thing, of course, has a fantastic mic, as if you didn't already know that. It just doesn't work with uh, plug-in microphones too well. It just don't play well because it don't like open camera. We went over that the other night. Uh, so, uh, I'll probably come back and talk on this again at the very end. In the meantime, let's do the intro and get to the magic. All right, folks, then. let's get right to the downsides of this phone. This is a uh, really a good phone by the way so there really aren't too many downsides i uh, got it in tent mode now which is usually how i leave it sitting that way you don't have to worry about the screens first things first uh you're gonna have to get yourself a set of screen protectors for it you want some really good ones i've got the mat skins from Skinomi. Uh, it'll be linked in the description below. I did a whole install thing on them. Really good stuff. That way, you know, you can just set it down and not worry too much. Okay, now, other big negative. Let's uh, take a peek here. All right, all the buttons are on one side. Mm. You, you, you got your tray, your up and down rocker, your fingerprint reader slash uh, power button. And uh, this little button here, if you double click it, at least the way I've set it up, it goes right to the camera. And then if you long press it, well, then you get YouTube. It's the way I have it set up. So. 
I'll show you the fingerprint reader here and it works really well. Bam, we're in. I mean, this thing looks good. It's clear, it's bright, it's sharp. It's super good. And I use kind of a dark background back here. Uh, saves you battery power. It's fluid, it's fast. I got all my good stuff on here. Got my code games, got everything. And uh, so, what's the biggest downside? Well, accidental. Oh, there goes one now. It was very easy for my thumb to slide up and over a perfectly flat surface. No edge like you'd have like over here in the Alcatel from a, a case because well they frankly can't put a case on it so you'll have to learn to deal with that for me on the average day yeah, 25 to 30 times that happens easily uh, and it doesn't matter which hand you hold it with uh, I have small hands, but I can still yeah, open and close it. And I set up my middle finger on my right hand to open it and shut her off and do my thing. Uh, I've also got it so that if uh, somebody's pinging away on Messenger, I can now reach down here one handed and bam, I'm in with the right hand and we're in. Now, if you, it does have big bezels, though. So, and kind of, if you have half a brain, you hold it down here, and you're not going to get those accidental screen presses. It's as simple as that. But, of course, these buttons create a slight complexity uh, that you'd probably rather not deal with, and that is... Uh, see, accidental screen press. Uh, this thing's easily, you know, I can open this up. Kind of about that wide. And then hang it over the edge of my gooseneck mount here and use it for my front facing videos, which I did in the intro. But, if you want to shoot out the back, let's say. Mm -hmm. So let's open up the camera app. And of course, it goes right to selfie. We're not entirely sure why of that, uh, but I'm okay with that. Uh, we're going to go to video. And we're in video settings. We're going to kind of flip it here. I just need to be able to find the damn... Yeah, I'm trying to find the uh, rotate button. Oh, there it is. Right in the middle. Okay, so now we're going to rotate it. No, we really... No, we're really, really... Oh. Mm. Let's just fold the phone first. Okay, so we're going to fold it, and then we're going to hit this. And now we've rotated it. So the camera is now pointed out the front, and you would flip this puppy over, and there's your back facing. And you got your big bezels, makes it real easy. But you try to find a mount that won't touch one of these buttons, I need a mount that'll go here and here on the sides and allow me to have the microphone free. And that way I can shoot downwards firing videos at whatever and forever. Okay, so, and then when you turn it off, you're going to go, oh, okay, well, I gotta remember which way it goes. I get confused sometimes and I'll be like, good. Hmm, what's wrong? Wait, that. oh, wait, I just turn it over. And that is the end of the downsides here. So we're gonna cut it off there and say, 
Let's get to the upsides, because there's a whole bunch of them. So, we're going to start going over all the cool features of this phone. Alright, now, if you're like me, you're just as eager as anyone else to see Mike Reed's latest video. And all your buddies want to see it too. So what do you do? What do you got in here? See what we're in? Yeah. We're in the mirror mode. Oh. What does that do? Well, that allows us to do this. And you're also going to get a good sample of the speakers which come out of the top here, out of the earpiece, and out of the bottom. Let's play a little bit of Mike's latest video. So you're watching it here, and you you simply don't want those idiots hanging over your shoulders. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Greetings, salutations. Sorry it's been a while. And I explained in my last video mm -hmm. that I was waiting for something to come that hopefully is going to come. So you're... Well, it has arrived. All your friends are able to watch Mike's latest video suddenly just at the same time you are to the US. It moved a lot faster uh, than it was supposed to. So it has arrived, and I figured we'll just do a good old unboxing of it. Um, I'm going to need to explain the product a little bit more to those who don't know what it is. But I'll do that in the next video where I kind of give you a little bit more information so about it. This is that's basically the mode one. I've not opened the box. It's super cool. And make sure to check out Mike Reed's channel. If you look in the description below, you'll see he's one of the guys who helped support this site. As a matter of fact, he's the one who sent the Axon M over to me. So, mode two. I mean, obviously, we must check mode two, right? Yes, let's do that right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So we're going to go here. Uh, mode 2. The, the super widescreen mode. Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, let's see what we got. Oh, we got Chrome open. And we got Amazon on Chrome. Are we still in split screen? Yeah. Let's switch. Oh. It's one of them stupid hand touches. So here we go. Oh, look, it's buttery smooth. It's so sexy. It's so fast. Oh, you don't like it that way? All right. Then we'll go this way. That's cool. Which is a little easier to hold, actually. So... You can go scrolling on through your favorite website with a ton of pictures. Whoa, is that nifty, neat, uh, or what? I think it is. It's very cool. Ah, uh, what other modes do we have? We have uh, this one here, which is the split screen mode. Most of the apps I have... Uh, won't work with split screen, so you can't have like two things going. We'll try it for a brief second and see if maybe I can get two things working in there. This is super good. See if it'll let us go in here. Uh -huh. And bring up YouTube also somewhere. Well, we got YouTube there. Uh. Oh, yeah. So that's my problem. I, I haven't quite figured out how to do this. So we're going to, trust me, split screen will work. I've gotten it to work several times. Uh, and that's about it. And, of course, then you turn your manual mode off and you go back to having a normal screen. And bing, bang, boom. So what's not to like about this phone, uh, uh, other than accidental touches, pretty horrible, very easy to do, um, the speakers are good, 
the multiple screens are good. But being able to share whatever you're watching on your screen with the guys who go around to the other side. Yeah, go sit in the peanut gallery. I mean, you might be watching a basketball game and everyone could sit there and watch it. So, uh, that's all I've got. I'm going to come back and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the whole, uh, you know, package. I'm going to be, you know, looking at the camera again on the Axon M. So, that's all I have for today in this segment. We'll be right back. So, now it's time for the final conclusions on the Axon M, which we're filming on the Axon M, because no dongles, no lapel mics, I can get up, walk away, jump around. It's just got a really good mic. So, that being the case, uh, I'll give you my opinion, and uh, then I welcome your feedback. And on a couple of items here, uh, one, my opinion, buy this phone. It's worth every penny. It's under 140 bucks. Check the description below. I don't know how many times I have to say that. Hit show more. Read the damn thing. Check out the links. Uh, you are going to need some of them Skonomi uh, screen protectors on it. They're by far the easiest to put on. Simple. And there's a video on how to do that. If you'll check in, just click on videos if you go to the channel. And you can see the Skonomi skin install. Which was like a two-part thing. It took like two nights to do. So, uh, that is my opinion. Now, your opinion goes in the comments below. Just before you click on share and share this to Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instacrap, wherever you wish to. Share it with your grandma. Share it with your worst enemy. Share it with that guy you work with who you really don't want to buy one because then he'll have a cooler phone than your Samsung. Oh, yeah. $140, folks. Let's not forget, this is high-end, cheap tech. This used to be a $725 phone. Under $140? Uh, excuse me. How could you go wrong? Yeah, there's the false touches and the downsides. But, overall, I would say, worth every penny. Uh, it plays games. It gets an Antutu score somewhere like 165,600 or something. It's a Snapdragon 821. Not bleeding edge by today's standards, but it was in 2017. You had the shit back then. Now, the other piece of feedback I need, leave it in your comments below. Make absolutely sure you leave it. Uh, which one of these phones, the new mobile G3, or the... Uh, Alcatel 7, do you think the SIM card is going to go in next? Because I can't keep taking this thing to work. We got rubbing compound and all kinds of crap going on in the garage while we work on cars. And dust and dirt and, and the juveniles I work with tend to, well, they can't eat and not throw things at each other and grab each other's nuts. They act like 12 year olds and they're all in their 30s. Uh, so their food's going everywhere. So it's a constant battle to even keep the phone from 
they accidentally get knocked off the table or thrown or I mean I literally had to clear off everything on the table it's throwable like you would for six year olds all right that's all I have for today if you found this the least bit interesting informative entertaining or you didn't like it huh? give us a thumbs up a thumbs down and uh, if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell and you'll get a notification. Nobody's going to make you watch all the videos. That's up to you. But occasionally we have uh, some stuff worth checking out. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to set this up as a premiere so it should go off... Uh, Tonight is the uh, 22nd of uh, June. I'm going to set it up for probably about 7 o'clock. And I'll be in there watching it with you. We'll all see it together. It'll be a wondrous and humbling experience for me when no one shows up as usual. Uh... Except uh, C. Butler and maybe Mike Reed. So make sure you're there. Of course, you're not going to hear this until the video plays, are you? Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Catch you later.